I think there's a longing in America for these kinds of conferences in which we put on the table big ideas that unite us as opposed to small ideas that divide us. I love the idea that not only are we dealing with ideas here, but we're, we're making people think about them and making people realize that they can participate in the ideas that are transforming the world. Nobody's cornered the market on ideas, and it's important to open the dialogue and let people know that their ideas are important. It makes you feel good about the world, that uh, there are people working in so many different fields who are creating change in their own way. This is where the innovators are. This is where the new ideas are. This is a place where visionaries reside uh, to exchange ideas and, and really set a trend for the rest of the country. People are walking away from Chicago Ideas Week with inspiration, to be inspired to make the changes in their life that they may want to, to commit to what they love. It's not every day where you have an incredible uh, speakers from all over the world share a stage and share a little bit of piece of who they really are and what they do. I feel very fortunate to have come here this evening, to have been invited by Chicago Ideas Week. I mean, it's absolutely fascinating. It's fun. I mean, it should be fun. That's the main thing. There's a lot of stimulation for our spirit, our imagination, our creativity. Uh, there's a lot of inspiration and you get to hang out with some amazing people. I've met some of my heroes that have been my heroes for a long time and I've also found some new heroes. I sort of uh, come to this and leave it remarkably refreshed and, and uh, with renewed faith in, in humanity and the world. Chicago Ideas Week. I say it's a spa for the mind.